The Meteora rocks stand over the village of Kalambaka, Greece. The huge and stunning rocks were created over 60 million years ago, and their raw beauty and the precariously built monasteries perched on top of them has put them on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Chris. We travel in our Honda Pilot micro camper when we're in the U.S. and Canada, and stay in Airbnbs or hostels when we're abroad. We have a minimalist, do-it-yourself approach to travel, which means we skip the expensive tours for more independent, budget-friendly travel. Today, we're leaving Athens by train for an overnight trip to Kalambaka, Greece, to do some hiking and see the Meteora Rocks. We're at the Athens train station for an early morning train to Kalambaka, where we're going to spend the night, and then we're going to come back to Athens tomorrow. We just got on the 7.20 a.m. train leaving the Athens train station, and we should be in Kalambaka by 11.30. I'll put the link to the website for the tickets and the schedules in the description below. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more unconventional travel ideas. I have to Kalambaka. You can see the mountains in the background. And we're checking into the Hotel Costa Famisi on the main street in town. We would normally rent an Airbnb or stay in a hostel, but this hotel was actually cheaper than all of those options. And since we prepaid online ahead of time using agoda.com, we paid just 42 euros for the night. Looking at the room, it's pretty simple, but I'm loving this balcony with a view of the Meteora rocks. Now let's go explore. Instead of taking a taxi or an expensive tour, Chris and I are on a hike up through the Meteora rocks to the monasteries. There are a few hiking trails to take you from the town up through the rocks to the monasteries. The trails aren't on most maps, but if you check out alltrails.com, you can see that most of the trails are on there. The trails are somewhat strenuous, so if you're not used to hiking on steep, unlevel terrain, there are also taxis and buses you can take to the top. We're not going to go into the monasteries ourselves, but if you do want to go in, I think it's about three euros per entry per person, and you have to wear appropriate clothing. Ladies, watching the other tourists, wrapping a sarong around your leggings seems to do the trick for a skirt. This is exactly why we don't do tours. This rock and viewing point were empty a few minutes ago, and now it's full because a bus showed up. If we were on the bus, we'd be in the crowd with everyone else instead of enjoying the amazing views on our own. Hike is done. Now we are ready to head out for dinner. We've decided to splurge a bit on dinner, so we're at a restaurant on the main strip called Feel the Rocks with an amazing view of the rocks. As the sun sets, the city lights up the rocks with these huge lights. Good morning. It's about 9 a.m. here in Kalambaka. And so our plan for the day, our train is until about five this afternoon. So our plan for the day is to try and squeeze in an extra hike this morning. I really want to get behind those rocks again because they are so amazing. And then after that, we're going to come back to the hotel, check out, um, take a shower first, check out, uh, go get some lunch. And then there's another viewing platform on the other side of the highway that I'm interested in checking out. It's about five kilometers or three miles from here, but it should be pretty flat. So hopefully easy enough to do with our backpacks on. Uh, and then after that, we'll get on the train back to Athens. This morning, we're exploring some of the other trails up by the rocks to get some different views. The energy from these rocks is an unbelievable experience. Yesterday before the hike, we went to this awesome souvlaki place. It's probably the best souvlaki we've had so far on this trip. We are back at Sito Paleo Bakis because it was so good yesterday. We have to have it again today. These amazing homemade hieros are about two euros each. Look at these fries. Homemade. Okay, we have time for one more hike before we have to catch our 515 train back to Athens. This hike is a bit different as it's on the other side of the main road. I kind of put it together myself by looking at Google Maps, so we'll see what we get. We seem to have ended up on some kind of a half-completed highway expansion. Exploring without a tour guide, you end up on an unpaved, unfinished highway. You're not quite sure where it's going or what you're doing out here, but you end up with these amazing views. 
And that's all we have time for. We're going to grab some snacks and get back on the train to Athens. What a great experience. These rocks give off an amazing energy and the hiking is fantastic. If you ever get the chance to visit the Meteora Rocks in Kalambaka, it is definitely worth the trip. Just don't forget your hiking shoes. <laughs>